Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glisten Ralph, here to bring you a very special card that I've created. But first, let me give you a little bit of background. There's a number of made-up formats, let's say, in Magic the Gathering. I'm not talking about modern or standard or ones that Wizards of the Coast came up with. No, I'm talking about fan formats. Think old school, expired, even EDH started out as a fan format before being picked up by Wizards. But my favorite would absolutely have to be the Tiny Leaders format. You don't see too many videos on this channel for Tiny Leaders simply because I don't really have anyone who plays it with me. Not here. But I do love the format. But one thing that I'm not crazy about with respect to Tiny Leaders is that one color combination is kind of up in the air, isn't it? See, after Fate Reforged came out, only one wedge still had yet to have a commander that was printed at CMC 3 or lower that would of course be allowed in Tiny Leaders. And that of course was... Sultai. Bug. Tassigur may seem like he's CMC 1, but he most certainly is not. Poor guy. Yosova Dragonclaw, Shuryun the Silence Tempest, and Alesha, who smiles at death. But no Siltai. At least not yet. And because we've already passed our wedge block, we may not be coming back around to them for some time. Unless something gets printed in a commander product, we may not have one. Now in Tiny Leaders, you can still play bug colors. But there's a little bit of a catch. See, for the longest time, you could have a 3CMC 2-2. That's it. Three mana bear. Vanilla. That's it. Eventually, thankfully, that was switched out. You could have on a battle mage. As, as long as it received an errata to its type line. Legendary creature, human wizard. But there's a little bit of an issue with that too, in addition to it not being a legendary on its own. Does that mean that battle mage receives that errata regardless of whether it's the commander or not? Or does it only receive that line if it's the commander itself? Additionally, you can now play a 3-3 vanilla for 3. That also doesn't seem too good, does it? But here, let me quote you straight from the Tiny Leaders Blogspot page. This is temporary until the community or wizards comes up with or prints a legendary creature that fills our specifications. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me present my submission to you for a temporary one, at the very least a temporary one. It's a card that I just came up with, of course. But I, I'm very proud of it. You'll see. Here's why. Eva High Proselytizer. First of all, it's adorable enough on its own. I don't care what the flavor judges say, unless they say, "Oh." Legendary Creature, Cleric Praetor. And if you're thinking Praetor is an occupation, not a type like human or elf or something like that, therefore this thing has no race type, I guess you'd say, no species type, well, there are creatures that are just Praetors, nothing else. Elishnorn, Jengitaxius, Vorinclex, that whole cycle, they're only Praetors. Now, this creature has flash and infect. Yes, of course. T1 Glycerin Elf is coming up with a creature. Of course it has infect. When High Proselytizer enters the battlefield, you may search your library for two 1-1 one -one creatures with different names, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. Promised with blessed perfection, converts quickly become recruits. Such is the devotion that Phyrexia demands. I put down here, Art, uh, Evangeline Booger Stevens. <laughs> Obviously this is my daughter. This is the cutest little infect creature in the whole world. Just by a lot. Obviously this legendary was geared specifically for infect. As of right now, there are nine one ones in these colors that can be tutored up that have infect. Ten if you count Vector Asp, but, you know, Vector Asp. They are Blight Mamba, Blighted Agent, Flinzer Might, Glycerin Elf, Ew, Ew. Ikraclaw Mirror, 
Necropede, Plague Mirror, Plague Stinger, and Whispering Spectre. Of course, while Eva herself does have Infect, you don't have to just get Infect creatures. If you can think of some combination that, say, breaks this card wide open in tiny leaders, feel more than free to put it in the comments. But this is my submission. In fact, there is a link in the description to this card itself. You can go and download it. Feel more than free. And now, I would actually like for you to do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind. Something that I don't say at the end of any of my videos. This will be the first video that I'll have said this. Share this with your friends. Really, share this. If your friends play Tiny Leaders, give them this. If your playgroup wants to use it, of course you have my permission. I would... Not even I would be flattered that I'm not on the card. But I would appreciate it, actually. It's my little girl. It's my little girl on there. I think that it would be awesome to do something like that. She's too little to understand it right now, but one day, if people are actually playing with Eva High Proselytizer, when she's old enough, I want to be able for her to go on YouTube and see people playing with her and go, that's awesome. You did that? It would make me really happy now, and I think that it'll make my daughter really happy when she gets to see that when she gets older. So please, just share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it with YouTubers that you know play Tiny Leaders, especially ones that you know play Sultai or have tried Sultai and are just frustrated with either having a 3-3 or on a battle mage. Oh. So for example, Forest Bear Studios. I know you've tried playing with Sultai and Tiny Leaders. You used Frosty. That was awesome. I would... Oh, I would love if you would try out Eva High Proselytizer. Please, Forest Bear Studios, if you see this, I think that that would be great. You totally should. Share it in your Magic Facebook groups. Share it with your LGS. Share it with your Tiny Leaders playgroup, of course, of course. Share it with your EDH playgroup, maybe someone there would like to use it. Share it with anyone you know who loves playing in fact. Looking at you, Tom Ross. And who knows, maybe if enough people play it and enough people send him an email or whatnot, maybe Bramwell Tackaberry, the inventor of Tiny Leaders. Maybe he'll consider it. Maybe he'll put that on the blog. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be great. Anyway, if you wouldn't mind, do please share that. But in any case, whether you share it or not, have fun. Enjoy this card. And remember, if you have any comments about the card itself, if you've found a way to break it wide open, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to read them. Other than that, take care, Magic Community on YouTube. I will see you guys later. Cheers. Tink.